Hey guys, welcome to another video. I've been getting a lot of comments, mainly negative on some of my YouTube shorts regarding how I've fixed my crashing issues, particularly the direct X errors within Black Ops. Now I know a lot of these don't fix everybody's problems. So what I'm gonna do is put together a huge video or a just a large video that's maybe going to be 10 minutes long showing the different fixes that are out there so you can try all these and hopefully get your game running again as it should be the game is fun but it's not optimized well and a lot of people ha are having a whole host of issues so the first thing we're actually going to do is change the settings in black ops itself the game is optimized really poorly when it comes to vram so a lot of people particularly when i've looked on reddit and the steam community forums have reported having crashes because their vram is set too high so all their textures are set on high and they're refusing to play the game in anything lower because they've got high-end systems which is really understandable but the truth being it's in my opinion it's better to play the game then to not bother at all so what we're going to do now is we're going to go through the settings that i've got and i'm going to show you what you really should be using and what i've changed mine to and prevented crashes and other people have reported this so the main one is to change the vram scale to 60 and to change your texture texture resolution to medium or lower and set everything else to low so i will just scroll down so you can pause the video here you can look at all my settings you can see what i'm running so these are my settings at the moment um, and in display as well i'll just show you that it's not really particularly important but yeah if you copy off these settings set your vram to 60 and that's all you're going to need to do in game so now save these settings close down the game and let's do some stuff outside of the game to your main computer so guys when we have made it back to the desktop we're going to do some tweaks within the actual Call of Duty folder. So while we're here, the first thing we're going to do, and I'm not sure if this is a placebo effect because I believe all the latest Call of Duties have to run in DirectX 12 and most, Call of, uh, most graphic cards, sorry, do support DirectX 12 unless you've got a really old one. So what you're going to do is you're going to come to game settings and in this box, you're going to type dash d3d11 now this will force the game apparently to run in direct x11 i've not got mine here but this is something that i did try so i recommend you to do that as well and then what i would do i would go into show and explorer go into retail and if you've got a folder called mp24 you can delete that and then come out and then scan and repair or verify the integrity, whether you're playing this through Xbox Pass, Battle.net, and Steam. However, do be aware that a lot of the issues do seem to come from Battle.net. And you will hear people saying, oh, it's AMD related, it's Nvidia related. It seems to be mainly related to, from doing all my research, to a VRAM error or some sort of memory leak within the game. So some people, or if you're like me, I got three crashes within 20 minutes, four or five times within two hours. Now I play the game three or four hours in one go and I have not crashed. I think I've had two crashes in the past seven days and they both weren't direct X. So the next thing we're going to do is if we minimize this, so the next thing you're going to do guys is type in run cmd uh you want to run it as an admin sorry so right click this and click run as administrator and then what you're going to do is type sfc forward slash scan now now this is going to check all the files on your system and check to see if there are any errors, any corrupted files. So do that and then restart your computer. It will take a few minutes to run through. So the next thing that I would recommend doing is checking your, so if you type forward slash, uh, no go to start run, advanced options, click on 
uh, where it says performance here under the advanced tab click on settings then click advanced and then click change now what you want to do depending on how many um, sticks of RAM you have so let's say you have 16 gigabytes of RAM for it's two gigabytes of RAM you're going to put half of your initial gigabytes of RAM in the initial size and the maximum amount here so you can see here um, minimum allowed recommended so work it out how much you've got so 16 gigabytes of RAM would be there then 32 but this bottom figure is always how much RAM you have and put it on the drive where Call of Duty is run now the reason that I do this is because it's a resource hogger when I run OBS when I run Call of Duty, Battle.net, Discord, Spotify, I'm using almost like 80%, 70-80% of my RAM. So it can be good to do this. Again, I saw this on the Reddit forums. I'm not a whole expert. I just know that apparently this change can affect the game. Uh, the next thing that I would recommend doing is downloading something called GPU-Z um, and I would run it. Now this, I've got a lot of hate for this um for this particular thing but what you need to do is you need to look at the default clock speed and you need to then bring the clock down on whether you've got an nvidia card an amd card you can use various other pieces of soft software to then set the clock speed of your graphics card now let me just explain a little bit about this now the reason this potentially fixes it is if the drivers that you're running on your graphic card are creating some kind of turmoil within Call of Duty and despite everything being okay on your graphic card end, for some reason Call of Duty isn't optimized the best for any overclocking or anything and it then causes the DirectX error. Now anything related to DirectX tends to be hardware so that's why changing this back to its default clock and then slowly lowering it up by maybe 50 each time until you get to a more stable clock speed for the game and if you've got amd you can create certain profiles so you want to crank the voltage right up and then you want to keep the clock speed at 50 percent increments from the default clock i've now adjusted my clock speed so it's higher and it still seems pretty stable i'm not quite at the clock speed i was at but it's still lower and i'm slowly increasing it just so if my game starts crashing once again i know what the problem is this was the main fix for my graphic card which is an rtx 6800 xt so if you've got one try it again it's just another fix don't hate on me if this doesn't work for your game so guys, the next thing you're going to do is go to start and then run and type in DXDIAG and this will come up. And what we're doing here is we're checking what version of DirectX we've got on our system. Now, some people are saying if they re-roll back to Windows 10, that version of DirectX 12 supports them better. Now, I'm only doing this to show you that I am running DirectX 12. If for whatever reason there is nothing here, then what I would recommend you do is go into Windows Updates and check for updates and click on the button, check for updates. And if it has any updates or you've got something turned off, then update your system and then restart. So guys, the last thing that you need to do, and it's always the first thing people say, that's why I've actually left it to last, is download something called Display Driver Uninstall. You can go on Google, type it in, and in install it. I'm not gonna update this because I did this ages ago. It's really easy to run. What I would recommend is running this in safe mode. So depending on what motherboard you've got, you might hit FA, F12. You can actually boot up into safe mode in your computer. I'm not going to show you that. I'm just going to explain what this does and basically do a clean and restart. It will wipe all of your graphic card drivers off and then go to your manufacturers so if it's amd and video whatever graphic card you've got and re-download the latest drivers 
So guys, the last thing that I am actually going to mention is to check to see if your RAM is working at the right speed. So if, for example, your RAM is 3,600 megahertz, try underclocking it. Go into the BIOS, turn off XMP, turn off um, Game Bar and try and mess around with those and configure them and then play the game or leave the game running on the menu for a couple of hours and then go back into the bios switch settings around and try again and see if you can effectively recreate the crash there are all these settings within our systems that can make the game crash with a game like call of duty once again because it can be poorly optimized or your gpu can be poorly optimized your ram can be poorly optimized your cpu can be poorly optimized the last thing that i'm going to say to check is also check your temperatures so you want to be looking at when you do get a crash uh, is your cpu overheating is particularly if your computer shuts down that is a telltale sign that your CPU is going to be overheating. You can generally check the core temperatures of your computer with AMD software. You can check it with HW monitor and there are various other programs that you can see the core temperature. So check all these things, guys. I'm not going to show you, I can't really record in the BIOS because obviously I'm using OBS to do the recording. So, so guys, in terms of how to solve the issue, those are all the steps that I took to solving it. If there are other steps that you want to add, please do comment and I will pin the comments, but only if it's actually worked and there's a well-written description on the steps that you need to take. If you do want to reach out to me, I there is a link to my Discord in chat. You can reach out to me on there and I am more than happy to spend a little bit of time trying to help you figure out why your game is crashing and optimizing settings, maybe for a small fee if I start to do it more and more. But give these a try and let me know if it helps. In the meantime, guys, be kind. Be peaceful and remember most of all, you are appreciated.